Human trafficking. 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 Well, the numbers are startling. There are between 20 and 36 million slaves in the world today. This is the second largest criminal activity in the world. And human trafficking generates more than $150 billion in illegal profits each year. The organized criminal gangs are behind the illegal trade in people for sex, labor, and domestic slavery. And the end purpose or the end result of trafficking is always exploitation. And exploitation can be exploiting um, someone for commercial sexual exploitation, uh, forced labor, uh, slavery, removal of organs. The first cases of people being brought to the UK to have organs removed have also been recorded. I found that within the first 24 hours, the trafficker will physically abuse, usually sexually abuse, a child or a woman who they have trafficked. Most people don't realize how common trafficking is. A lot of people aren't aware that we really do have a problem of, with human trafficking right here in our own backyard. You know, inside the United States, we're probably talking around 200,000 people at least that are trafficked in bondage. She claims it is common for a 50-year-old man to buy sex from a 12-year-old girl. We found it was taking place here, but not only here. Other major cities, Orlando that we've traveled to, or Houston, Texas, for instance, one of the top cities in the country. And the average life expectancy of a child after getting into prostitution is seven years, with homicide or HIV AIDS as the main killers. That should be enough to make everyone say enough is enough. have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. You might be wondering how in the world you could do anything to stop thousands of people from committing crimes in hundreds of countries in an industry that earns $150 billion a year. The thing is that you don't need to stop those people. You need to stop the spirits and the evil behind those people. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authority, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly realms. So you see, you're not fighting against them. You're fighting against the spirits behind them. And greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. In 2014, another producer and I began pre-production on a feature film that would show a little bit of how human trafficking worked here in America, specifically in Texas. In 2015, we shot a teaser trailer to communicate our vision to the people involved as well as to raise funds. Here's a 30 second clip from that trailer. So now that you've seen a little bit about what we're trying to do, here's what we're asking you for, is your prayers. Texas has the worst cities in this country for human trafficking. So in June of this year, we're packing up our gear and actors from Hollywood, California, and we're going to Texas to shoot this movie. And we ask you for your prayers. We ask you for you uh, to pray as the Lord reminds you for our protection against the devil's attacks, uh, for safety every day on set, uh, that everything we do will be blessed for the funds that we still need to raise for this movie. And most of all, that you pray for the people that are involved in this terrible practice. When we were filming the teaser trailer for The Runners, I was there as hair and makeup. Basically, we were coming upon a scene that we didn't have a girl to be pulled out onto a stage and sold into sex trafficking. I thought, sure, I did drama, I did fine arts, I can jump in really quick and do that. I was not prepared for the terror that gripped me when I was pulled onto that stage. That's why we're asking for your prayers, so those girls don't have to face that reality every single day. Because just filming something was terrifying. I can't imagine what they go through. 
Did you know that 99% of all human trafficking victims are never rescued? 99%. And the average age is 12 to 14 years old. Unfortunately, this is a way bigger issue than probably any of us even know. And I think by bringing this large of a production together, action, all of that gets really involved in the story, will help others also become more aware about human trafficking as well. It's comforting for us to tell ourselves that human trafficking, sex trafficking, is something that happens in other countries, that it's something that happens in third world countries, uh, war-torn countries, but the truth is, yes, it does happen there, which is heartbreaking enough, but it's also happening in our backyard. It's happening right at home. Here in Hollywood, people think that it's about the celebrities, it's about the actors, about the singers, about the dancers. It's not about us. It's about everyone else out there who are going through daily struggles. We have struggles as well, and we have things that we're fighting, but we want to reach out and help others with the platform that we have. So with sex trafficking, it's something that needs to be ended now. Um, and I think it's just very wise for all of us to kind of band together and make it happen. It's the fastest growing organized crime business and the third largest criminal enterprise in the world, according to the Department of Public Safety. Sex trafficking even affects many people right here in East Texas. CBS 19's Gerardo Martinez caught up with a producer hoping to bring awareness to this disturbing trend, Hollywood style. My one Hallsville native realized just how big the trouble is, and he's bringing his friends in and colleagues here from Hollywood. Many people remember the movie Taken, the blockbuster film that depicted a father's search for his daughter after she is trafficked by a man she met at the airport. Now a Los Angeles production company is coming to East Texas to raise awareness about the same issue. The filmmaker Micah Lyons says he wanted to bring more awareness to the fact that human trafficking happens in small towns, specifically East Texas, and he felt the best way to do that was through a commercial film. The Runners is a crazy, exciting, hair-raising action movie. There are car chases, explosions, bone-crushing fights. Both Lyons and Loomis want their film to be used for educational purposes. So if we can bring in, um, you know, actors or producers to a school that kids will be excited to listen to, we can tell them about the dangers of the internet and about um, what to look out for. Bringing it to light is the very best thing we can do because if everyone hides the issue in the darkness, it never gets fixed. Anytime we see films that can bring awareness to the public, the public starts to realize this is a national issue. This is our children. Ha it's happening in every town all over. It really is one of the best means that we have as individuals to speak up for adults and children who lack any effective platform whatsoever through which they are able to speak for themselves. Um, so what is needed is um, for the media to highlight cases um, and basically assist law enforcement and all the, uh, all the actors trying to combat trafficking here. We all need to get involved. We can't do it alone. This is a great thing to bring awareness to and, and a great way to, to make an action movie that's not just really entertaining, but something that can really touch people's lives in the area where I grew up. Gerardo Martinez, CBS 19. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. And more than that, thank you for your prayers.